this is Stampy and welcome to part number four of my let's play of the Spider-Man playset as part of Disney Infinity 2.0 edition. I am currently Nick Fury and I'm inside of a facility and I am trying to start some files transferring and first I need to power up this big thing, this computer. <laughs> this is what computers are going to look like in the future. Actually this is pretty close to what computers look like in the past. Before you had your tablets and phones and uh, all of your, I don't know, your 3DSs and stuff, computers used to look something like this. Computers were basically rooms and they were very, 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 very unpowerful and absolutely massive. Uh, if ever you want to look up what an old computer looked like, um, yeah, you might be amazed at what, what they used to be and how far we've come. Uh, but yeah, it seems like for whatever reason, to send a file, we need a computer this size and it needs to be powered, not by a little battery, not by just plugging it in uh, by these big power cell things, whatever they're called. And so if I place this one down here, that should be all three. There we go. I think we're transferring the data. But why is there... Why is there a big health bar appeared on the screen? Oh, I think we, oh, we need to protect the computer. These guys are going to go after the computer, but we need to stop them. Right, after the symbiotics. Come on, Nick Fury. All or nothing. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. I'm just shooting the computer. I'm just shooting the computer. Right, I'm sorry, Nick Fury. You're not good enough. I'm going to have to switch you out. Iron Fist, you're in. Come on, Iron Fist. We need you. We need your fighting ability. Iron Fist is the character that I was in the last episode, and I, to be honest, didn't really know who he was before I played this, and I immediately fell in love with him because he is awesome look at him go like pick up this guy and throw it over at this guy over here if you can there we go two in one <laughs> look how fast he is it he attacks and he's got this big move uh, that he charges up like this and then can take out loads of them in uh, just one hit and look he's leveled up again he's leveled him up uh, already and so now i can try and uh, go and do some more abilities in a little bit but for now i just want to keep them all away from the computer i got uh, one minute uh, left to try and defend it uh, the file is going to be transferring. It's going to take a whole minute. I guess they're still using dial-up. They haven't got broadband here. That's why it's taking so long to, <laughs> to transfer the file. And so I need to try and keep these guys off. I'm doing good, though. They haven't even taken away half of the health of the computer. Oh, no, I'm not doing good, though. I just got really hurt there. I always forget to dodge. I always forget to dodge and block. I'm just kind of like attack, attack, attack. And I never really think about, um, yeah, actually dodging and blocking, which um, is okay for now. Uh, but as the game gets harder, uh, yeah, that might be a, a good idea to start doing that right big charge attack take away this guy he thought he was being sneaky i got 20 seconds left uh, to try and defend the computer i'm doing good now though the trick is is to try and make them attack you uh, rather than the computer like i would rather not get hurt but if i do that's totally fine but uh, if they attack the computer uh, then i could end up failing the mission and i don't want that to happen big charge attack only five seconds left for me to defend there's only a few of them left one second and i think i did it i think the file should have transferred and suddenly all of the enemies disappear. Yeah. Woohoo! I did it! And uh, I now can use the symbiote in the toy box. I thought I already unlocked that. Oh well, I guess I can use more of them. And uh, now I guess we're going back out into the street uh, to go and explore New York again. And uh, go and do some, some more missions. I might try out uh, some more characters as well today. Uh, there are a few more different characters that I haven't uh, had a go with yet. But then again, it's always so tough because I just want to be Spider-Man all the time. But I'm determined uh, just to not be Spidey the entire time because I don't want you to get bored. It's just too much fun. It's just too much fun swinging around as Spider-Man. I just love it so much. Uh, but yeah, I can be, um, I can be Nova. Uh, another character that I don't know very much about. I think he's part of the intergalactic police or something. And uh, he's got super strength and he can fly and things. So that should be cool. I can also uh, be Iron Man. Uh, for some reason, uh, because it's part of the, the Marvel Universe, uh, I can use Iron Man in the Spider-Man you know, playset. So that's pretty cool. Piece, and I keep getting interrupted by those disgusting goo monsters. They're really cramping my style, hero. Let me tell you what I've seen. Uh, so what do I need to do? Oh, I can now be uh, the black cap, so that's pretty cool. Are you up for a real challenge? Cruel and collect. Oh, there was some um, there was some hover car race challenges. I know they were a thing. They would be uh, pretty cool to do. And uh, I think I, I got some some more skill points as a uh, iron fist as well. And so, I mean, I think when I'm in the city, I think I'm always going to be characters that can either swing around like Spider-Man or can fly. Because I think it might be a, a bit annoying uh, having to, to walk and jump around everywhere, uh, just like the pedestrians, you know? Like, I'm pretty much not getting any faster than this woman is, and that just does not cut it for me. If I'm going to be a superhero, I want to be a speedy one. But then again, 
I do have a hover car down here, and so I could do that and do some hover car races. That might be good fun. So let's go over here to the uh, the hover car, and uh, let's go and uh, do a, a hover race then, shall we? So let's remember how do I fly. Oh, that wasn't flying. That was just... <laughs> Look at me. Look at me just bouncing around. How did I do that again? Oh, oh, here we go. Way! <laughs> Look at me just bouncing sideways like that. I don't even need to turn. Look at me just doing flips and stuff. That is ridiculous. So I think I can jump and then there we go. Then do flips. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Not what I was doing. And then at any point I can transform and then I can just fly. So yeah, it doesn't really matter which character I am. Seeing as I have a hover car and I can just fly anyway. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm going to turn back to a normal car. And I'm just going to plummet to the ground. Geronimo! Fud. And uh, let me see if I can find where the that hover car race was. Is this one here? What's this thing here? Uh, what's this? Waterfront. This challenge requires... Oh, this is a versus challenge. I think that one uh, requires more than one person. Okay, that's cool. But uh, for now, I'm just going to go and uh, play by myself. And uh, let's go try and see where the uh, where the next mission is. I'm just <laughs> absolutely crashing through everyone. Actually, let's change. Let's change characters and uh, let's get there in style. Let's try out this Nova character then. So I'm um, switching out the uh, the figures and I've now placed down Nova. And uh, let's see what he looks like. It looks like I got a, a new costume. And uh, congratulations, you have taken ownership. So this is Nova here. And oh, oh, look at that. Look at me. Look at me flying. That is amazing. Oh, whoa. Look how fast he is! <laughs> the green goblins this way, hero. And I thought that being Spider-Man would be fun. Look at this! I feel like I'm cheating. I feel like I'm cheating. I remember trying to get to the top of the tallest building as Spider-Man and thinking about how difficult it would be. Look how easy it is as being this guy. But I actually think there's different collectibles uh, depending on uh, which character you are. Because I'm a flying character, I'm collecting these uh, blue boxes. Uh, but I think they were different when I was Spider-Man. They were like swinging boxes, and these are, are like flying boxes, I do believe. But uh, let's go now and head to the uh, the next mission and uh, see what I need to do. Let's try and dodge my way through these buildings. I think there's a mission down here somewhere. You can see on the minimap, uh, there's a, a few ex... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Ow! <laughs> that wasn't good. Yeah, you can see on the minimap. Uh, there's a few exclamation marks there, I believe, saying where the missions are. And can I fly through here? Can I just run through this building, maybe? Is this where the mission is? I'm not sure if it is, but I seem to be able to uh, to walk through this building anyway. It seems so slow after flying, just trudging around like this. Uh, there's a hovercraft I can spawn there, but who needs a hovercraft when you can get around the city by doing this? And like, I can do like these little rolls as well. Uh, so if something was firing at me or I needed to dodge something, I can just do a little roll like this. Can I do backflips or anything? I know, I, I think I can just change my speed so I can fly slowly like this or I can really speed up and go really fast. Anyway, I believe I have arrived at where the mission is. Let me just go and uh, collect a few of these sparks. And uh, then we can drop down here and try and do our mission. Geronimo! <laughs> I think this is the uh, the black cat again. Right, what do you want me to do then, black cat? I just saw a bunch of shield agents heading to the sewers. They had some fierce looking firepower. I bet they need your help. Okay. Let's go. Let's go help out the uh, the shield agent. So the shield agent, uh, they are the, the good guys. Uh, but I guess that even though they have some powerful weaponry, uh, they're still going to need my help as well. And look at that. Look at me doing these fireballs. Oh, this guy's really cool. Look at that. And uh, what else can I do then? So uh, this is that. that's my block. If I do this, and then I can dodge around like this. This is amazing. And uh, what can I fire? Do I fire just these blue fireballs? Look at that. I'm just totally destroying this person's building. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you live there. <laughs> just left some massive holes in the building. Anyway, they need our help, don't they? So let me try and uh, fly over to where I need to be. I think it's literally uh, just over this building. And then I can go and just drop down here and hopefully land on the head. How do I just stop flying? I don't know how I do that, so let's just fly straight down then, shall we, until I smash into the ground. <laughs> I think I can actually do that as quite a, a powerful ground pound. Yeah, that is kind of how I do my ground pound. I just sort of poke uh, my head down and just smash headfirst into the ground. <laughs> Luckily, I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be very self, uh, safe otherwise. All right, let's take out uh, some of these baddies then, shall we? If I sort of stay back, I can start using a, um, a few of these blue energy balls and uh, try and take them out. See, I just got like my hand as a fist. I'm kind of just 
long range punching them pretty much. Now let's get in close, let's get in close and let's do some, some damage then and try and take them out. I think this guy isn't as fast as a Spider-Man and Iron Fist, uh, but I think he might be more powerful. He's uh, probably a bit slower, uh, but a bit more powerful. And he can fly, which just makes him that bit uh, more awesome as well. And I think there's just uh, a few more of these to take out. And then I would have uh, completed this mission. So uh, let me try pressing this button, try and take a few more of them out. I guess I could pick them up and throw them around all over the place. And remember, well, I've not unlocked any more upgrades for this character either. So I'm sure that I'm going to get even more uh, special and magic abilities uh, once I do go and unlock them. Just a few more shots at this guy. And there we go. Uh, that should be them all taken out. And uh, I guess this is where the, the shield agents are going. So do I just jump down? Okay, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Geronimo! Once, I'd like to be <laughs> sent to a mission on a tropical island. <laughs> right, let's go and explore the sewers. Oh no, we're going into the sewers. Oh, I bet it spills absolutely awful down here. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to ruin Nova's lovely looking shiny space suit. But oh well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I feel like a, a bit of a waste actually going down in the sewers as Nova. And so I might take this as an opportunity uh, to have another character change. I'm basically sitting here. And I've got in a row in front of me all of the different characters that I can be. And I'm kind of a little bit spoilt for choice. You know what? Seeing as we're going into the sewers, I think a good choice might be Venom. And Venom's the kind of evil looking Spider-Man. Even though I think technically uh, he's quite good. I think he's sometimes good and sometimes bad in the comics. Uh, in the comics. So hopefully he's good now. So let's pick up Nova and uh, let's put down Venom. And Venom is also massive. And I don't know how big he's going to be in the game. Uh, he doesn't actually seem that much bigger than the other characters. But his actual model, the actual figure, is absolutely huge. It's just way bigger than all of the other ones. And uh, it seems like he's going to be good for now. Uh, let's see what moves he can do. Okay, so he can swipe at people. And uh, that's a, a little bit weird, a little bit tentacly. <laughs> and uh, if I press the right trigger, I can... Oh, I can fire webs at people, just kind of like Spider-Man. And I can dodge and roll all over the place. Now look at me, I kind of like gallop along the ground. Uh, that looks uh, pretty awesome. And I can pick up rats. This is going to be my friend. I am going to call him Squidgy. And he's my Squidgy rat. And I'm going to look after him always. Come on, Squidgy, you can come and join me. Let's go and help out the shield agents. Come on, my little Squidgy. I don't know, this looks like Venom's things. Oh, this is the, the Venom clones, I guess. Some of these symbiotics. Okay, well, it looks like um, it looks like I'm going to have to drop Squidgy. I'm sorry, Squidgy. Let's go and play Squidgy safely down here. Go on, run free, Squidgy. I'll pick you up later. And uh, let's go and take out <laughs> some of these biotics. It's weird. I feel like I'm kind of fighting myself. I'm just kind of a, a bigger, slightly more powerful version of the, uh, the thing I'm facing. But I seem to be... Uh, dealing with them all pretty easily, but uh, we need to try and save some of these shield agents. And uh, I think I did it. Are you okay down here, guys? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, do I need to carry this thing through? I didn't really listen to what it was saying. Oh, do I need to throw it to try and destroy this black stuff, do you reckon? Uh, let's give it a go. Oh, oh, wow, it's just an actual weapon. I can actually just carry around and just shoot things. Right, I'm going to leave Squidgy safely behind there. And I'm going to come back and get him at the, the end of the mission. And oh, is this uh, a battery? Do I need to... Oh, this is what I use to charge up the weapon. This is cool. This is awesome. I think I definitely uh, chose the uh, the right character for the, the job here. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Or is that a secret area? Oh, I need to take out these big things. And this is going to be very easy. <laughs> now I have this weapon. I basically take them all out in one shot. But oh no, I've run out of batteries now. Quick, go, 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 quick, go, go, go. Oh no, I need to pick it back up. Here we go, charge up, charge up. I guess if I just stand on where it's charging, uh, then I can kind of just leave it charging, and uh, then it will never run out. Uh, but what I really need to do is try and take out this thing if we can. And there we go. I took out that big weird bulge, and now I can shoot this, uh, which is going to take out that. And careful, scientists, you know how powerful this weapon is. You are probably part of the team that helped develop it. So while I'm running around shooting, Please, please do get out of my way. <laughs> and what's this thing up here? Actually, before I go through that room, let me safely place down my powerful weapon there. And uh, let me climb up here and have a ganders to see uh, what I can find around here in this area. There's some more sparks and uh, some purple, uh, not purple, sorry, some orange ones here, uh, which I can use to try and hopefully level up Venom. And a thing here, what is this? Oh, this is just going to bring up my skill tree. Okay, this isn't very useful, uh, seeing as I don't have any um, uh, any skill points. And uh, you don't need to go to those areas uh, to level up. Uh, you can kind of do it uh, no matter where you want. And oh, look, there's some sparks up there, which I 
like can't be bothered to go up there and get, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> if I could be bothered, then I would go there. And it looks like I need to go down this way. This is where the arrow's telling me to go. And uh, do I need to climb up the ladder? I think it's not allowing me to, to take the weapon through here. You can't jump with the weapon, and so I guess I need to leave it here and uh, go and climb up the uh, the ladder instead. So let me go and uh, climb my way up here. Can, can Venom climb ladders? Um, he seems to be struggling uh, <laughs> a little bit. Can Venom not climb ladders? Uh, okay, maybe I, I don't need to go that way. Maybe I just need to jump up here and uh, head off in this direction. And oh, why does it make me leave the gun? And now I have to go up here and face all of these people. He's actually very similar to, to Spider-Man with the, the web attack where you can sort of freeze people and then go after other others. So I guess Spider-Man's just the, the faster version, the more nimble version, uh, but Venom's just a lot more powerful. I do wonder whether... um. Whether Venom can uh, can like web swing around the the city as well, because if he could, uh, that would be pretty awesome. And uh, what room have I found my way into here? This is a a pretty massive sewer. And oh no, more of these big goo things. I don't think I can destroy these by hitting them. I think I need to try if I can uh, to go and try and get the uh, the gun back. I have no idea where it is though. Are there any more guns around here? You can see on the ground this goo. Uh, this is basically showing me where these things are going to come up from. And then when I get close to them, uh, they all go up in the air. So I think that I can only uh, go around this way and try and avoid them. Look at their little weird mouths on them. <laughs> so peculiar. All right, let's go get a few of these sparks uh, so I can try and get my health up. And uh, let's go and try and find another one of those guns then, shall we? Is this one up here? Ah, uh, here we go. I found another one of these uh, powerful pieces of weaponry. So I can go to uh, one of these charging points, uh, charge up the batteries, take out a few of these googlies. Uh, it seems like whenever I'm at the charging point, I always just look at it. It makes it quite hard to aim. But there we go. I was able to take all of these out. Let's get it fully charged yet again. And uh, let's work out where I'm supposed to go. I guess I could go through that tunnel. But surely I'm supposed to take out some of these things here first. I think if I drop down here, uh, then I can go and take out some of these. And I don't think I can, actually. I don't think it's actually letting me uh, take them out at all. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's taking me, uh, letting me take them out a little bit. And so let's go and uh, collect up. Uh, a few of these orbs and if I shoot here it's gonna knock it out of the way and then I can go through this side was there anywhere else I needed to go here uh, I don't think there was to be honest so uh, let's take out this guy down here they don't stand a chance <laughs> is it bad that I kind of feel mean for killing the bad guys when the odds are so stacked in my favor and it seems so easy to take them out uh, I do actually feel a little bit mean when I take them out and no I don't think I can fit through there actually uh, maybe if I switch to Spider-Man, maybe I'm going to be able to switch through that tunnel, seeing as uh, Spider-Man is uh, quite a bit smaller than Venom. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's actually going to let me fit through? Uh, nope, I guess I can't fit through anyway, so uh, no worries. Uh, back to Venom then. I, I don't know, it just seems more fitting being Venom uh, while I'm down here in the sewers. And uh, I guess I can't use the gun, because uh, I think I'm about to uh, go and try and climb up on some of these uh, big cylinders. You see those uh, big green pipes in the background? I think I need to try and climb up some of them. So uh, let me go and try and do a big ground pound and take out these guys. Uh, I think the, the ground pound should be pretty effective as this guy, just because he's so big and heavy. It should be able to uh, pretty easily take them all out. So I think the uh, the tactic of web swinging, uh, w uh, web slinging one of them and uh, tying him up and then attacking the other ones uh, seems to be working pretty well. But for now, uh, let's try and avoid these guys. And if I can, try and climb my way up here. Right, big jump. And oh, there we go. I grabbed on the edge. I just about managed to get on. And oh, look, I jump inside the next one. And oh, what was that? Oh, I guess I can web swing. I can, did you see that? I just did a, a little web swing inside here. I didn't think I could actually web swing while I'm inside. Even though I thought that would have been handy, it actually made me miss my jump. I just randomly did it, but it's not letting me uh, do it anymore. I guess otherwise I could just web swing like all the way up to the top and uh, not have to do any of the jumping. So I didn't think uh, that it was going to let me web swing, but I just did one. I just did one random web swing for some reason. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It wasn't uh, far for me to get back up. So let me go and try and jump up on here. And then jump up onto the next one. And no, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't web swing. I don't want you to web swing. There we go. <laughs> it nearly did the exact same thing and maybe just jump off the other side. And so let's go and collect up some more of these sparks. And then I guess we need to jump down onto this one. Oh, here we go. I need to go from here and jump over to this one. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't web swing. Why? I am switching away from Venom because he's going to web swing and make me go right off the edge. I'm going to go back to Iron Fist for now <laughs> and just be someone that can only jump. It's actually too effective when I try and web swing. And now I've got completely confused as to what direction I'm trying to go to. I think I need to now go and jump across to this one. 
And then, oh no, I fell the whole way down. I fell the whole way down back to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly cut ahead in the video until I've got back up to the same jump that I was on before. Okay, here we go. I jumped the whole way back up and this time I'm going to double jump to make sure I definitely get on. There we go. And the final jump. And there we go. I managed to, to make it across now. And uh, I think Iron Fist actually might be one of my, my favourite characters. I think for fighting at least, I think he's one of the, the most fun to, to play as. So instead of going and switching straight back to Venom, I think I'm going to play as uh, Iron Fist for a little bit. This is the, the fun thing about the game, is that whenever you start to get bored of a character, you can just instantly switch out and uh, play as uh, someone else and just have uh, slightly different moves and attacks. And uh, yeah, it just makes it a little bit more exciting and stops the, the game from getting too boring. And just look at this guy go. I just love how fast it is. These guys just don't stand a chance. I wonder whether he can uh, pick up the uh, that gun as well. The gun seems to be pretty big and Iron Fist is strong. Uh, but yeah, that gun is absolutely massive. So <laughs> hopefully I don't have to, to be Venom uh, in order to go and carry that around. And I'm not entirely sure what would happen if I played as the Green Goblin. I looked on the website and it said that uh, you can play as the Green Goblin. But uh, to be honest, the Green Goblin is like the main baddie. So uh, imagine trying to play as the Green Goblin, but fighting the Green Goblin. I don't know. I think it would be a, a little bit weird. So I think uh, for now, I'm going to stay sane as the uh, staying as the good guys. And it uh, looks like we've got a, another room where we need to get rid of some of this uh, black squelchy stuff. So uh, where is the gun? There's got to be a gun around here somewhere. Um, I guess I I guess I can't go down that way. It all got blocked off. Now, I can't see the, the gun anywhere. It seems to be almost blocking me off wherever I want to go. Oh, here we go. I can fit through the middle here. And oh, no. These guys are dropping down on me. Come on, Iron Fist. Do your stuff. Do your stuff. I want to get some some more abilities as him and see what other moves he can he can get. So let me try and take out as many of these as I can uh, to try and get a few more of the uh, the the, uh, the orange sparks uh, so I can try and level them up even more. Is this another skill tree thing? I think it is, but I don't believe uh, I've got a, an, another level, so I don't think I have any skill points that I can spend. And I'm coming. I'm coming, coming scientist. I will save you. I will save you. And I think I found the gun. I think I saw the gun on the other side down there. But first... Uh, let me go and grab a few of these sparks uh, while I'm running past. And uh, let me go and take out a few of these guys. Go and do a big charge up and try and take out this guy. Yaha! And the other guys as well. And uh, then I can go and pick up the gun and go and destroy that big bunch of goop over there. So here we go. Charge up the gun. Let's take out this guy if we can. Go and look, look in that direction. Turn around. No, turn around. Come on. Face the way I want you to face. No, almost there. Almost there. There we go. And once more. And again. And again. There we go. Sorry, scientist. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't seem to, to hurt the scientist as much as it, as it hurts the googly. So that's good. Right, I want to try and make sure I get over there. And I uh, don't run out of battery. Oh, there seems to be another charge point over there anyway. Uh, so it doesn't matter too much. But it's good to, uh, to save your battery until you need it. And I'm almost at the charge point. I think I have four shots. And uh, then I need to I need to recharge it again. So if I fire twice more, yeah, then I need to go over here and uh, try and charge this thing back up again. And here we go. It's fully charged. And now I can go up here and uh, try and destroy this big pile of goop. <laughs> oh, I definitely do feel like I'm in the, the sewers down here taking out all of these big piles of goop. I guess it could be pig, uh, big piles of something worse than goop. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's go and recharge again. And uh, try and take out this guy. And stop standing so close to me, scientists. Don't you know how deadly this thing is? Right, so I think I can now use it uh, to go and try and break through uh, this big doorway here, I do believe. So let me go and stand here. And I go and break this away. And then I'm going to go and... Uh, actually, I think I need to, to drop the gun down here anyway. Uh, anywhere where you need to jump up, uh, you need to, to drop the gun because you can't... Uh, carry it up any of these ledges. So let's go and uh, drop it down here and uh, let's go and uh, climb up here then if we can and uh, keep heading forward and oh no looks like there's more googlies for us to take out. Pretty easy work when I'm here using uh, uh, using um, Iron Fist. And what's that? After being knocked down press... Oh I forgot about that. I unlock the uh, the mid-air re recovery, which basically means as I'm being knocked around, uh, if I press A, uh, then I can uh, steady myself. And what's going on here? If you see an enemy flash before an attack, don't block dodge. I know, I know. I know I should be dodging and blocking. There's all these uh, tactics I should be using, but I'm totally ignoring them. And I'm a little bit worried here. There seems to be a big open platform, and I'm a little bit scared that there's going to be a big boss or something's going to jump down there. But sadly, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. But don't worry, I'll be uploading the next episode very soon, and we can see whatever is about to happen when I jump down onto that platform. But for now... I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later.